the numbers say it's a growing trend. Since 1994, sales of U.S.-made wine have steadily gone up despite the recession. If you want to start a wine cellar, it's not really as expensive as you might think. Today, 12 News reporter Shannon Slatton gives us some tips for stocking or starting your wine cellar in today's Money Savers. There are many resources out there on how to stock the perfect wine cellar. Today we're going to talk to a local certified sommelier to find out how to stock a cellar without breaking the bank. This tastes absolutely over $20 and it's $12.99. Gina Holman's area of expertise is wine and she has the title to prove it. I want to be able to be there and be a knowledge base for the consumers coming in through the store. To start a wine cellar at your house, she says think less about cost and more about quality. The majority of all of these here are under uh, $15 a bottle. First, buy bottles of wine that will pair well with just about any type of food. Pinot Noir is the rage right now. Everybody loves Pinot Noir because of its unbelievable essence to pair food with it. Two popular types that fit the bill are Pinot Noir and Rosé. Dry, but absolutely perfect. Then, knowledge is power. You can get wonderful value just depending upon the information that you can gather, you can start finding specific regions and knowing all the quality that comes from that region. For example, if you like the taste of wine from the Rhone Valley in France. Some of the wines in Northern Rhone are easily $100, $200 a bottle. Instead, shop for wine in the Southern region for a similar taste at a fraction of the cost. This is all estate fruit and then we sell this for $10.99. Another money saving tip is to look for wine that is produced and bottled on the estate. That will actually have a better value. To to do that, just look at the back of the label. Once you see produced historic family vineyard site, you know you're getting quality. Here at Wyzetta Wine and Spirits, you can also join the Rewards Club for a 10% discount on any bottle that you buy. In Wyzetta, Shannon Slatton, 12 News.